guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another two week grocery haul. If you missed part one, it does include the meal plan. It was my Walmart haul. I will include that up in the cards and in the description box down below. Today I went to Kroger and Aldi. I spent $44 at Aldi and $53 at Kroger. I picked up a little bit more than I intended to, but that's because I found some great markdowns at both stores. So let's get into the haul. This is everything from Aldi, and as I said, I spent $44.12. One of the main things I went there to pick up was the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They were on sale for $1.49 a pound, so I picked up one of those. And then, as always, their chicken breast is $1.89 a pound, so I got one of those as well. And then I found this. It was a thin sliced chicken breast, um, just over a pound and a half. And I got this for a dollar eighty-six because if there's two stickers, you get both of those off. So four dollars off, made it a dollar eighty-six. Look at these little tiny spaghetti squashes, guys. Got two of those. They're eighty-nine cents a pound. Carrots one nineteen. Broccoli was one sixty-nine. Some Roma tomatoes. Avocados were sixty-nine cents this week. Some little grape tomatoes. Lily absolutely loves these. She will, she would eat this whole thing today if I let her. I compared the prices at Walmart, Kroger, and Aldi to see who had the better price on meatballs. Um, Aldi and Walmart's were pretty much the same price, uh, about 13 cents an ounce, but you had to buy a bigger bag at Walmart. So I just got this one at Aldi. It's 32 ounces and it was just over $4. The kids love this sausage. Picked up three of those. Some flour tortillas, some zucchini, hamburger buns, pepperoni, taco seasoning, evaporated milk, ooh, excuse me, diced tomatoes, and pesto sauce. And that is it for Aldi. Over here at Kroger, I spent $53.66. The Oreos are a sale that's only this weekend. They were $1.49 when you download the digital coupon. So we got chocolate, chocolate, and Lily picked those, and I picked just regular double stuff. Got toilet paper, paper towels, Elijah's pull-ups. Didn't need this this week, it wasn't on the meal plan, but when the chuck roast is $4.89 a pound, I went ahead and picked it up. We'll have Mississippi pot roast at some point. I'll just keep it in the freezer. Some romaine leaf lettuce, lemons, the Jimmy Dean sausage is also a sale that's only going on this weekend. It's a coupon that you can use five times. It makes the Jimmy Dean sausage $1.99 each, so I picked up three just to stock up. These are not for the kids. These are for Andy, Lunchables. They're 10 for 10 right now for the Lunchables brand, which he likes the best, versus like the Armour Eckridge brand. Uh, so I got, two, I got him two nachos and two pepperoni pizzas. And then this is what the kids are eating right now. Lily picked chicken dunks and Elijah picked turkey and American cheese. They're actually outside in the front yard having a little picnic. And then we got our five dozen eggs for $5.89. Our favorite Spanish style rice. My Walmart actually doesn't carry it anymore. So I have to pay more for it. Because at Walmart I think it's like $2.60 something. But at my Kroger it's $2.99. So I'd rather buy it at Walmart but they don't have it anymore. And then I picked this up for me now because I'm pretty hungry, but I need to put all of this away. So until I get to lunch, I'm going to eat some of this. And it was on Markdown for $0.59. Cents. Sounds like a good flavor. Dark chocolate almond with sea salt. But yeah, that is it for my haul. I know I stayed under $200 for these two weeks. That just gives me room to do a little fill-in haul. Maybe stock up on some more meat if I find it on Markdown, which is always good. Don't forget, as I said, part one will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!